In this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite neighborhoods in the Midlothian section of Richmond, Virginia. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end when I talk to you about my very favorite neighborhood. You are not gonna to wanna to miss it. So first of my favorite neighborhoods in the Midlothian um, area of Richmond, Virginia would be Summer Lake. All right, so technicality here, you can call me on my bluff and go, well, Summer Lake isn't technically a Midlothian. Well, it feels like Midlothian. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in other videos if we really wanna get technical. But Summer Lake, it still feels like Midlothian because that's what you connect to all around it. The awesome thing about this, um, this community is you still can get in there and be in affordable housing. Finding something in the 500,000s actually really isn't that hard. But definitely expect that you're going to be seeing things well into the millions, particularly since the most recent homorama of the beautiful modern homes that they put in. Gosh, I love those ones. Uh, make sure, and they've sold them all, make sure you get a chance next time you're in Summer Lake to drive through and look at those beautiful homes. They're absolutely amazing. So the cool thing about Summer Lake on the age of homes is they're not old. I would say the old established sections of Summer Lake were um, built all in the 2000s and they are still building and developing in Summer Lake. In fact, I feel like a lot of areas, Summer Lake, um, had sections that were very developed and then they had the newer areas that felt like it was just kind of quiet for a while and quietly doing things that has certainly changed and things are being developed. The great thing about this community is if you're looking for newer homes but you want an actual saw, you know, an actual lawn, an actual yard that is not um, a little posted stamp, this is a great spot for you to check out for sure. The other great amenities is they have trails all through the community and they really, um, they planned this community so well. It has two different entrances and both of them are just so charming and beautiful. Also how they've situated the homes, particularly towards the older section, is almost like you have the little roads and you have the little, um, little um, sub cul-de-sacs that are within things and it really keeps that traffic uh, rate down and feels very, um, very nice and slow paced but still really convenient to everything. Giant pool with a lot of fun parts of it, almost like going um, to a big water park and they have the cute like uh, things for your kids, the little um, umbrellas with the little rain all coming down from that, they have that there. They have a very active swim team. The clubhouse inside is great for renting and also for events. And they even have a gym in there for community members as well. There is never a time that I go into Summer Lake and I know I have some amazing clients that actually moved down from Northern Virginia and built their um, forever home down here. And they were so pleased with how far their money went in comparison to other areas. And, um, but they still built an absolutely beautiful house in Summer Lake. So another really favorite neighborhood of mine is Foxfire. The nice thing about Foxfire is you can find things that are affordable. Um, you can find things in the 500,000s, but expect that they're likely going to be going more into the sixes for sure. Homes in um, Firefox, this is another one that's kind of funny that usually this age range of homes doesn't appeal to me too much, but the way they set this neighborhood up and um, with all the trails, just how they have situated all the different homes. It was built in the you know late 90s, some of the mid 90s and into the uh, early 2000s. And it still has just remained really beautiful. Of course, all the landscaping is nice and matured now. Do have your pools, have your trails, super central and tied to everything. If you wanna be close to the Swift Creek Reservoir, this would be a great community for you um, and everything all right around it. And another thing about this particular section of Midlothian that I love and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in a little secret I am a little bit of a bird nerd and I don't know why I haven't even talked about what kind of birds I have and things well I'm gonna start talking about it from now on one thing that is the best part about Midlothian is you will see red-headed woodpeckers everywhere now not to be mistaken with some other woodpeckers the one that everyone's like oh yeah I see those all the time no no you see the red-bellied ones and you wouldn't know that was that unless you saw them up on a bird feeder and you'd see they have a big red dot. The actual red-headed ones are super cool where they just have this blood red cap and then it's a very striking black and white and it's very distinctive and I'll tell you what, no matter where I go in Richmond, Virginia, believe me, I'm watching a lot of birds because I've been selling homes for over 21 years. I always see the red-headed woodpeckers there in this particular section, particularly over by Foxfire. So if you're a bird nerd like me, that might be the neighborhood for you. 
Another great neighborhood over in Midlothian uh, neighborhood. And again, don't call me on the technicality. Yes, it technically is Mosley, but it is right smack up against everything. It's Midlothian for all intents and purposes is Magnolia Green. Now this is a great community because they are still building. So if you're looking for new construction or newer construction, um, Mag uh, Magnolia Green is gonna be the place for you because even the resales, everything was built all in the mid 2000s. That's when it started. This community, um, they have have been kind of slowly, slowly growing, but now they have the two entrances open. They're even op um, opening up a brand new um, elementary school, and it is huge. If you're looking for a super tight-knit small community, Magnolia Green might not be the one for you, but if you want to have all the bells and whistles and all sorts of different homes to choose from, it's a great spot for you. Again, everything was just recently built in the 2000s or currently being built, many different sections and really many different styles of homes. And another great community, if you want to be in somewhere, you want to stay there and generally move up, this is a perfect one for you. You can still find homes in the 400,000 so very affordable homes, but they definitely go well into a million and the gamut of uh, custom to more of a spec builder as well. Isn't difficult to find a basement in Magnolia Green, which is really a great thing and not real common in Richmond, particularly in the newer builds. In Richmond, if you're looking for a home and you're looking for extra space, be more, it's gonna be more likely that they build up. So having a frog, you know, finished room over your garage or a third story is going to be more prevalent than you having a basement. And that just has to do with the topography of the land and the cost of doing things. It's really expensive to build a basement in, in Richmond, Virginia. Virginia. Very expensive. So you can find a resale that has one already. You are making really good investment decisions on that. Awesome thing about Magnolia Green is it has everything. You have got trails. You are also right by, there literally is a um, fire department right there at the very beginning. I know that when there's been times that I've stopped off and maybe been putting some signs in for an open house or maybe taking some video for future videos that you'll see, I regularly have one of the people stop by and go, hey, are you doing okay? You're broken down. I'm like, nope. I'm perfectly fine for sure. So very helpful. Trails everywhere, several different pools for all the different sections. Um, this uh, community does have a golf course um, that you can uh, join separately. It is not part of your fees, so you don't have to worry about making any kind of extra investment there. And uh, definitely if the sunshine is out, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, everyone's going to be out there golfing. And it's a really pretty one. Also by that golf um, course, you've got a whole bunch of tennis courts. And I think my favorite spot, you know, how old am I, you wonder sometimes, is the um, big giant playground with this huge pirate ship. Um, I literally go in sometimes and people are like, hey, let's go look at houses or I'm going over to a listing appointment and I feel like I have to put in extra time just so I can go buy the pirate ship. All right, one of my other favorite um, neighborhoods in the Midlothian area has got to be Round Tray. I would be remiss if I did not bring it up. You can still get into Round Tray for um, in the 400,000s, but definitely creeping on up there. I don't think it's gonna last very long anymore. And definitely into over the millions. Um, there is a section of Round Tray where they did a Homerama several years ago. It's still one of my favorites for sure. They are still building in, in, in uh, Round Tray. Everything is going to be um, late 2000s on up. So if you're looking for a more modern or a newer home, even your resales are all gonna be not that old at all. Um, so that's a great thing to definitely consider if you're looking for. Amenities. Um, need I say more? Amenities, amenities, and more amenities. And more than anything, if you are looking for a tight-knit, very active community, Round Tray is definitely the one. Um, I cannot tell you the people that I've worked with uh, over the years that have maybe even started looking in other areas, um, other areas uh, north of the James for sure. And more and more as they describe what they were looking for, I'm like, you know what? Can I please take you over to this neighborhood? I just want you to check it out. I just want you to see what you think. And all of them have fallen in love with it and still love it and have made so many friends. There are multiple pools. Um, there are sidewalks everywhere. The clubhouse is absolutely stunning, which you can rent out. And they're always, always doing some sort of event, um, which is great. I mean, around all of the holidays and the fun, like really fun thing too, even if you go in along Halloween, for people that are going to be, households that are gonna be 
participating in trick-or-treating. They always had the little uh, jack-o'-lantern that you can put like a little, um, a little decoration you put on top of your mailbox, which is super, super cute. Um, they are always doing certain days during the year where they open things up and there's a bunch of, of uh, food trucks that they bring in and petting zoos. Um, they're just always doing everything and people are always out walking, got their kids playing. It just, and it's super, super central. You're really close to the reservoir. In fact, there's certain areas now that you can rent a, um, a little spot on a slip that you can slip into a little section of the reservoir for kayaking and paddle boarding. Um, no motorized boats in the Swift Creek Reservoir, which is great. So just great opportunities to kayak and paddle board and have fun with your family. Now, I will say one downsize of Round Tray, if you are someone that is looking for a larger lot, it is definitely not the neighborhood for you. These are going to be smaller, newer construction lots for sure. You're gonna be a little tight. And then last but not least, we would be so silly if we did not uh, bring up this particular Midlothian neighborhood. And it's one that not everyone knows about, but again, particularly if you're coming from other areas and you really like that older established neighborhood, you love the feeling of kind of the winding hills and the winding roads and the homes not all looking like each other. Definitely you wanna check out my very favorite Midlothian neighborhood and that is Salisbury. Um, to get into Salisbury, I want you to be prepared to be spending at least in the 600,000s into well over the millions. And we're not talking about newer homes. These are homes that were built typically in the 70s. The early, you know, the, the, the newer homes in Salisbury were built in the 90s. Um, it's another example where you don't find a lot of in between. Most of things are either very original or they have been completely gutted or added on to. Great thing about this community would be you do have the golf course, which is completely separate, but it's just, that kind of just adds the feel. I know you're, you're hearing some commonalities here and I don't play golf, but I do like how that, um, that, that kind of shapes how a neighborhood is. Um, so you have the golf course. Um, this is another community that if you wanna be really central to things, but have that kind of private, um, very north, actually a very Northern Virginia feel that um, the little shopping centers, little boutique shopping centers that are right there. Salisbury is a great spot. And now they have um, added so much to the Midlothian Turnpike quarter very close to this, that you have that very neighborhood community feel. You don't feel like you're in the middle of everything, but you literally are like hop, skip and a jump right around the street from everything you need in Midlothian. And the coolest thing that most people don't know about, unless you really get to explore the neighborhood is, there is a private lake that you can join. So instead of having a pool, it's awesome that in the summer times, families have a membership that they pay to go to the pool and they have lifeguards. And it's just a really cool feeling. And again, this is just, maybe it's nostalgic to me as um, a little girl of where my um, grandparents used to take us in the summer, that there was a particular lake, it was called Silver Lake, that we'd go to and stay for about a week or so. And that just brings back all those memories when I see that. And it was fun to see all the families out there enjoying it. And it's just a timeless fun, no matter what day it is. So there you have it, all my very favorite neighborhoods in the Midlothian, Virginia. I hope you have found this helpful. Be sure to stay tuned in and remember, leave everything better. Once again, if this is your first time to our channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Richmond, Virginia, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell too so you're notified every time we release a new video.